Michael, let's talk about our picks for the race, the favorites and the underdogs, because there are many, many riders to go through. And if we want to talk about the team Dakuna Quick Step, something we should mention, forget about Dakuna Quick Step because they're going to be called Elegant Quick Step for the race on Sunday. The team is renaming itself, rebranding itself Elegant, which is a line of windows from the window manufacturer Dakuna. So let's refer to them as Elegant Quick Step. And of course, they have many riders to choose from. Michael, I'm thinking for my underdog pick, and I saw him out there on the parent. I saw him out there on the Paderberg uh, the other day when we were doing a feature on the finishing kilometers from the top of the Paderberg to the finish in Odenard. I hope we can call him an underdog. Is Casper Asgren, and my favorite is of course Walt Van Aert to go for the victory. Good picks, Casper Asgren got second at the Tour of Flanders, what was it, in 2019, I believe, after, that, that is one of the most impressive rides I've ever seen a rider produce, because he was on domestique duty, riding the front, pretty much from the start of the race, 250 kilometers earlier, and then he got second to Alberto Bedial. He definitely has what it takes, I think, to win this race. We'll be looking at him. For my men's favorites and underdogs, Gregor, I am going with Soren Craig Anderson of DSM as my underdog. He is a rider who has never performed at the Tour of Flanders before, but he has this racing instinct that I just love. He knows when to attack. He knows when to find an advantage, take riders by surprise. And like I said, this Flanders finale, the riders are just so cracked, so taxed. It really plays into Soren Craig Anderson's playbook. If he can launch an attack, catch the other riders off guard at a moment when they aren't going to cooperate, I think that he could take a really, really big win here. My favorite has to be Julian Alphilippe. I think that Julian Alphilippe is going to be going in with a chip on his shoulder after last year. He hit that motorcycle, as you said. Uh, that is not what he wants his Tour of Flanders legacy to be. I think that he is going to be very, very fired up for this weekend. Well, you're wrong again, Michael. I mean, Alaphilippe just isn't showing the top form that I think he needs to be showing to try to, uh, of course, he won a stage in Triano Adriatico, but he hasn't been showing as sharp as Van Aert or Vanderpool. So I think you're wrong there on your, your favorite pick. Also, I think for an underdog pick, uh, one of those guys that we should look out for riding in this debut race is Tom Pitcock. It'd be exciting to see him win for Team Ineos. I'm going to go, I'm going to go total trick Sigafredo on my favorites and underdogs for the women's side. I'm going to go with American champion Ruth Winder as my underdog pick because I think with trick Sigafredo, uh, they're going to be doing, they're going to be the elegant quick step type of team out there on Sunday. So one of their helpers could be able to have the chance to go off for the victory. It'd be great to see Ruth pull it off. And my favorite for the women's race, 154 kilometers. They're starting a little bit later, two o'clock. They're finishing about an hour and a half after the men. My favorite is Aliza. Longo Borghini, Michael. I completely agree. That's my favorite also. Elisa Longo Borghini, the form that she has shown this season, um, race after race, and then the just riding everybody off of her wheel last weekend in Ghent Level Game, trying to go solo for uh, almost 20 kilometers. She is motoring. I think that it is her race to lose. For my underdog in the women's race, I'm going with Kasha Nui Adoma, another rider who has come close in the women's field. Close but no cigar. This year, she's got to hold it over the Paderberg. That's what cracked her in 2019. But if she can make it over the Paderberg, I think that she is another rider, kind of like a Soren Craig Anderson. She loves to attack. And if she can catch some of the bigger favorites off guard, she's going to have the legs to make it to the finish.